Well, um, was there any reason why you weren't in any of the sequels or was it just going a different direction? I think he was taking it in a different direction. There were so many people that were not in that. The second Friday to me was a bust. They took it too way far out of the realm. I think, you know, I might have seen that maybe once or twice. That's the one where he moved out to the valley somewhere. Just left the neighborhood altogether. And with the Hispanics. And I, like I said, I think I, I've seen that maybe once or twice. I was just disappointed with it the second, the first, first time I saw it. So I didn't bother to watch it again. But the third one with Cat Williams and, of course, uh, the different people and characters he used, which were still not a lot of the, the major characters from the first Friday that people loved. Um, it, that one was better. That one worked out okay. So I don't know why he didn't choose to use a lot of the characters that were in the original. I think he was just, I don't, I couldn't even tell you why. I can I sit here and make up some stuff, but I don't know. But uh, you might have heard that, you know, when John Weatherspoon died, rest his soul, we were all able to get together after so many years that we had not really last year seen each other, sometimes people within that last 24 years. And we were all together, a lot of us, and we talked and reminisced. And Ice Cube, he uh, spoke at John Witherspoon's funeral, and he did say people kept keep asking him all the time, and there have been rumors flying around about the second Friday, I mean, the last Friday, and especially was Miss Parker going to be in it or this person or what have you. So he said that um, Lionsgate, who uh, evidently owns the name, um, put all the money out for Friday, that he gave them, uh, sent them, he, he and DJ Poole sent like a couple of scripts to them over a period of time and that they rejected them. So now what was in the script? what it was all about, who was included with it. I don't even know. I don't have a clue. Obviously, I'm not that close to, to, to uh, Ice Cube or Pooh to find out. But I guess he had to go back to the drawing board. And it was so unfortunate, he really wanted to get it done with John. And here it is all this time after the rejections of the scripts, John passed away. So obviously, he won't be able to be in it. But I'm sure he'll he'll do something reminisce maybe back on him or something. I don't know how, I don't know how any of it's going to work out, but I just hope and pray that we can get to do it soon. He did say there at the funeral, he would like to use pretty much all of us back and bring us all back in somehow. My girlfriend is Felicia. Bye Felicia. You know, Angela means now mm -hmm. that's one girl you need to get on your show. I did. I did. I interviewed Angela Meese. Oh, you did? did whole, oh, yeah, isn't she a go, sweetheart? Go on the, the Vlad TV YouTube channel. There's a whole big interview. And I remember in our interview, she said, you know, she's got a whole thing worked out where uh, her and Debo get married and have kids. Ah, and, you right. know, and, and we, we talked about how, how epic it would be to do like a last Friday and put all the characters in it to put Cat Williams and it's Chris Tucker be. and Michael Blackson and you and yeah. Felicia and Money you know, Mike my, and Pinky. Pinky is my favorite. Pinky. Uh, Say that shit again, nigga. Say that shit again, nigga. <laughs> you know, Michael Blackson, uh, you, you know, Debo, AJ, you know, Pops, like everybody. Um, Sugar. Give Auntie Sugar some sugar. R Ricky Smiley is the the Santa Claus. Like you know what I mean? Like everybody, just bring back everyone, even if it's for a little thirty second cameo. Imagine how huge that would be. You know, tiny. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, yeah. All the characters yeah. should be back in, but you know, it's still got to be. I don't. I don't want to see it. So I mean, that people do evolve, of course, and move out. But it can still be like within a like a Baldwin Hill setting area, but not so plush where people have made a lot of money, but some maybe have, some maybe haven't. It's got to be like an equal medium there where we still are kind of hoodish, and we go back to the hood and give to the hood. 